Hi, my name is Ayman. I'm a business growth specialist. I work with founders to help them grow their business by acquiring customers, building their business process as they grow and customer retention. Um, I also work with government entities and corporations by helping them manage their sort of programs. Now, our topic for today, we're going to be talking about why we wave at the end of Zoom calls. You notice that we all do this. So towards the end of the call, we all have this reflex. And I came across an article uh, entitled that, and that triggered me to go through uh, this more research to see of why do we do this? Is this widespread or not? Or is it just only a few, a few number of people? Um, as usual, if you have any questions, use the Q&A or raise your hand. Uh, I also cover on Instagram topics related to how to acquire customers, how to run ad campaigns, how to look at conversion tracking, uh, and so on. Next week, next week, I'm giving a topic about why uh, your startup is not growing as fast as you want it to. And this is independent of COVID. This has to do with the core of the business, what is missing, what needs to be fixed and addressed for it to grow. It's next week, 7 p.m. UAE time. Now, um, at the end of every Zoom call, this happens. And I've seen this on social a lot, and it resonated with me, and that's why I'm sharing it here. Good, goodbye. 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 Every call, every call. And then when I look at content of others sharing how they feel, is here, Hick, you look at, why do I feel compelled to wave at the end of Zoom calls? I have literally never walked out of a meeting room waving. And I cannot stop waving when I end a Zoom call, someone help me. So this is a common sentiment all across. This waving at the, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. This waving at the end of a Zoom meeting, what's up with that? Do people wave at the end of an in-person meeting? Um, so you have others, you have other comments on this. So for example, it's something to fill that moment between when we've agreed to end and when I can find the leave meeting button. Uh, I'm mousing with one hand and waving with the other. Uh, we also don't vanish at the end of an in-person meeting. Uh, you can't shake hands, so uh, we'll be waving in person too. So, so this is an example of different sentiment related to, to, to waving. And it also has to do with um, how we communicate as humans and technology. So uh, the end is, a, is an abrupt end, which is unusual a little bit for how we tend to uh, interact uh, on, on tech. Um, so for example here, um, She's sharing from her experience as uh, she's worked from home uh, long before COVID. She's saying, I'm definitely a waiver and at times even a virtual hugger. Uh, I notice that I mirror a lot more intensively than, uh, than I do in person. And I use imagery a lot more heavily than folks who haven't had to rely on virtual communication for as long as I have. So this also has to do with us since we don't connect with others as much as we, we would physically. We need to replace it with what we can do, which is waving, images, and uh, other formats of it. We do have visual cues and physical meetings, right? So you know how you, you start to fidget and you start to pack things and uh, somebody stands up, um, so on. So that aspect um, signals that the meeting is end, uh, ends and you know the topics start to close and we start to go towards, towards our, we, we, you know, our mind knows that we're ending. When it's, when it's on, in terms of the virtual part, it's much more abrupt than this because we don't have the visual cues. So that's why we have to do the, the goodbye and, uh, and the opening video that, uh, uh, that we went through that shows the many goodbyes. That's also just getting everybody ready. To, uh, it's the virtual version of packing up uh, to stand up. Um, so, uh, with the ending, it's, it's abrupt. So that abruptness is something that we have to, we, we have to get used to. 
even if you notice you have a bit of a, a softer version of this on the phone, even before the internet, you have like a buy, 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 buy. You have two or three, four buys on the phone before you actually, uh, before you actually hang up. So with the visual part, it ha it's longer. You have the visual aspect of the wave. It's more abrupt than, than, than hanging up. You need to make sure that we've smiled, we've connected and understand I'm not just hanging up very abruptly. Um, also, you have a bit of a technology aspect uh, as well. So if you end up too abruptly, they might think that you dropped out of the call because we tend to drop out of the calls a lot. So that might be also uh, considered to be an aspect where, you know, waving meaning, this is me, I'm leaving, I'm hanging up. Um, so it's, it's, so if I, it, it, once I click on end, this is me leaving, not a disconnection. I don't need to come back in, don't expect me to come back in or, or follow up with me in that aspect. Um, many others have different opinions related to, uh, to that. Which also brings to the topic of what's an awkward, what's an awkward call, what's an awkward Zoom call, what what are happen, what are things that happen on certain Zoom calls, right? Um, you have the pre-chat when those who are those of us who are on time, we pay for it. When we're on time, and there are others who are not on time, uh, you have the bit of the awkward. Uh, let me fill in the gap while the person who called for the meeting or the decision maker is on on the call here. So we start, we do a bit of a small talk about how we're adjusting and things like this and so on. So it's, uh, the pre-chat is definitely an awkward moment that we all have on our Zoom calls. Um, when we have uh, internet connections aspect, so uh, you know when you freeze with a mouth open or a hand stuck or uh, eyes closed or uh, things like this. So, so that, that delay is, uh, 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 has awkward poses. Uh, you have the shouters when you know they don't, they're not sure uh, that uh, that that they can be heard. So either they're very far from the mic and you tell them to come closer, or they come very close, or they put the uh, if it's an earphone, put it very close to the mouth and and, and, and they scream it loudly with with breath. Uh, you'd hear that, and you'd have unwelcome. I wouldn't say unwelcome. I'd say unexpected interruptions here. Uh, you know, kids at home, you have a pet, the delivery, uh, your, your, your food delivery or product delivery comes in, uh, you know, during your call and they end up knocking and calling and so on so that you have to step out to, to, to take care of that. Uh, background noises. Um, so, you know, I've, I've had background noises even before COVID. So I, I remember very clearly uh, uh, having calls, like regular phone calls from home. And then my kids are young and they don't, it doesn't, uh, they're not used to the social aspect of if someone's on the phone, let me leave, wait until they finish. So for them, dad's home and they, start, and they talk to me, even if I'm on the phone. So they talk to me and I don't ignore them, yet I'm, I'm explaining something loud on the phone. So I tend to maybe mute quickly and address it quickly and then I go to another room and then, you know, they have another thought and then they follow me to that room and they move to a third room. I've had cases where I walk into the toilet, I close the door, I'm in the toilet trying to finish the call quietly and then they still come barging in and they continue the discussion with me. So, so those are, um, those are non-COVID related things. And then when you're living at home all the time, so you'd have uh, 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 also here unexpected background noises. Uh, the multi-speak is when you have people talking uh, talking at the same time, and especially if the connections are, are, are not very good, they don't they don't sense that quickly enough. So they go through their content and their messaging and whatever they want to explain, and then somebody has to repeat and do that. Um, I have much more experience addressing this because um, long before the internet, we used to use handheld uh, radio wave uh, for communication, and that. Uh, if two people are talking about, about the same time, you can't hear each other. At least with the two-way communication on the internet, you can hear uh, each other at some point. But with the with the radio ones, you'd be talking, and then somebody talking on the other side, you, you wouldn't know. So that discrepancy between the two being asynchronous or uh, are things I'm used to to, to address. Um, it's very common also for people not to turn on their their video, although I feel. With time, they should because we're going to be doing this for a long, long time still, of having video, call, you know, our calls from home. So being comfortable on video, uh, in terms of lighting, setup, hair, lipstick, uh, and so on. Uh, so, so because the, I bring up the lipstick part because I was given a tip that because uh, 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 on the webinar I gave previously, I was given a tip to to, to mention that 
uh, for women, their quick uh, way of addressing this is with lipstick that gives a, it's easy to apply, it's a, it's a quick fix for, uh, uh, for a video call when, when working from home. The wrap up, the goodbye, goodbye, goodbye is a long version of it and, the, and there's no I've got to step out, there's no I've got to step out because you know, we're stuck at home doing the work. And then of course, our topic of the day, which is the waving goodbye at the, at the, at the end of the call. So uh, those are the aspects. So uh, what I wanted to cover today was a bit of a lighter topic on the waving at the end of Zoom calls and how we, uh, uh, how, why we do this and what does it mean for us when we think about technology and how humans use it and how, uh, you know, how we get used to using that and how we adapt our innate nature of being social and physical to uh, uh, how we're working today. So that's why I've chosen the lighter topic. So anytime you have any, anything you want to talk about, uh, I'm happy to answer questions related to business growth and business problems that, uh, that you want to fix. Uh, you can find me on Instagram or reach out by email or uh, if you're interested in content in Arabic, uh, I have a podcast. If you search my name, I talk about business content in Arabic as well. So uh, that's it for me. And uh, I look forward to get answering questions. And this is me waving goodbye on our Zoom call.